why my usual job is as a director of an emergency department in the southern suburbs and we see a, a, a lot of drug-related problems and in, recently in particular the amphetamine-related uh, ones. There's, there's lots of different ways they can uh, present. We uh, related to the intoxication, you know, so while people are, have been using them, their behaviour changes, they get more aggressive in general uh, and that translates to uh, the way they drive and so they're more likely to have car crashes. They're more likely to, to use other drugs at the same time as well, you know, legal ones like alcohol and that, you know, uh, sort of relates to the injuries they might get. They get into fights relating to the, uh, you know, the way they behave at the time uh, or to you know, getting access uh, to the amphetamines and so uh, uh, we see a lot of trauma related uh, to those, head injuries in particular, but there's also some uh, conditions we see a lot of here at, uh, in this unit and where I'm the, one of the senior registrars, uh, we see a lot of problems relating to uh, bleeds inside the brain, so subarachnoid haemorrhage, so people come here for the neurosurgery that's uh, required. Oh, look, one of the uh, uh, physiological effects of amphetamine is it increases heart rate and blood pressure. And so people who have a, uh, a propensity to, uh, to aneurysms or, uh, in the brain can, um, uh, can have aneurysms that leak, as you can imagine. Uh, yeah, a bleed inside the brain is a uh, pretty serious uh, condition to have. People can become unconscious and uh, not all of them survive. We see it a reasonably classic picture with uh, the psychosis that um, amphetamine users get after a, a period of regular use. Apart from standard features like a um, uh, like being extra paranoid uh, and very fearful, the hallucinations they can get are, are reasonably uh, classical, and we tend to see it. Don't see it in any other. Uh, form, they get tactile hallucinations, people call them crank bugs, but they actually feel things crawling under their skin. Because it's a hallucination, they are unable to understand that it's not a real phenomenon, and I've seen uh, a number of them picking at their skin to the point where they're pulling out bits of their own flesh to, to show me the, the, the worms or, uh, or, or crank bugs that are under their skin. I've seen people uh, offer me bits of their own, uh, their own sinew. Uh, as evidence of, of the crank bugs that they've got um, without an anaesthetic. Their belief is fixed until their, their nervous system gets back to, to normal. Many of them will need an admission to, to hospital and antipsychotic medication to help them get through what's quite a um, distressing period for them. These, these people actually believe that they have um, a tapeworm crawling behind their eyeball or under their skin and until such time as things uh, get to rights they often need uh, a fair bit of extra support. None of these things will go away until uh, they've stopped using the, the amphetamine.